It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with the team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, uh, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. The Masters Golf Tournament, the Super Bowl of Golf, was played this week, and their winner was awarded the iconic green jacket, arguably the most coveted prize in all of professional golf. And green was the dominant color on my screen this week as the S&P 500 made a new record high, crossing 4,100 for the first time in history, joining the Dow Jones Industrial Average in new high record territory. Hard to believe the Dow was almost 10,000 points lower this time last year. On the economic front, the producer price index, which measures wholesale price inflation, jumped in March. The March PPI data showed a rise of 1% compared with a projected increase of four-tenths of 1% from the economists that were surveyed. Year over year, the PPI surged 4.2%. Now, this marks the largest annual gain in more than nine years, another sign that we have inflation in the pipeline. And many companies are now saying the process is just beginning. Stay tuned. The 10-year Treasury yield actually was slightly lower this week from recent highs the previous week. And market volatility has declined as the S&P kept grinding higher to its record high close. The CBOE Volatility Index, popularly known as the VIX, has been trading under the 20 threshold for eight straight sessions. Now, this index basically tracks the level of fear on Wall Street, and right now doesn't look like anybody is afraid. Investors largely shrugged off an unexpected jump in jobless claims from last week. The Labor Department reported first-time claims for the week totaled 744,000. Now, this is well above the expectation of 694,000, once again, from those economists surveyed. I think it might be time to start surveying a different group of economists. They never seem to get it right. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said this week, the recovery from the pandemic has been uneven. Signaling a more robust recovery is actually needed. He was comforting investors this week that inflationary pressures are likely to be transitory and will not push the Fed to raise rates, or discontinue its asset purchase program. All in all, another great week on the street of dreams, except, of course, if you're invested in long-dated bond funds. They're now down 12% year-to-date. And gold, supposedly an inflationary hedge, is down 8%. And it's only April. Boy, what else can go wrong? The call for the week, if you want to keep your investment screen green, hold your stocks long, and keep your bond maturities short. If you're sitting there wondering... Am I losing money monthly in bond funds that I thought were safe? Do I have a portfolio that's hedged to rising inflation? Well, I sit there and wonder when you can know. My son and I, Rye, have 65 years of combined industry experience of building low-cost, tax-efficient, inflation-hedged, goal-based portfolios. All you have to do to get a free analysis is to text or call 844-752-6692. That's 844 752 Six six nine two, or just pick up the phone and call eight four four Plan NYC. That's eight four four P L A N N Y C. Hey, this is Bob Payne. I'm the chief investment strategist here at Payne Capital Management.